Hi, I'm Mariana, and welcome back to another episode of GH Stitch Club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this chunky waffle pattern crochet pillow in a black and white stripe. And check out Good Housekeeping's YouTube channel to see our other projects and videos. So let's get started. So to start our back pieces, we're going to be making these in the black color. So we'll make a slip knot, insert your hook, and we'll chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, and to do your single crochet, you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And we'll continue creating a single crochet in each space all the way down to the end of the chain. So now we have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna create our ribbing that creates sort of the pocket that you'll slip your pillow into in the back. So to create the next row, you'll chain one, and let's place a marker there. So you're placing it around the chain just below your hook. Now we're going to single crochet again, but in the back loops only. So to do that, you'll find your next stitch here and you'll insert your hook in this back leg in the back of the V. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Again, to single crochet in the back loop only, you'll find your next V and insert your hook in that back leg from front to back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So you find the next V, insert your hook in the back leg, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. So we just work that way all the way down till we get back to the end of our row. So the next row is the same as the last, so we'll chain one. You can place your stitch marker if you'd like to use one. And you'll single crochet again into the back loops only all the way down the row. And you'll just continue in this pattern until your, your piece measures 24 inches. 24 inches when you stretch it slightly of our ribbing. And now we have been working this way up and down. Now we're gonna turn it on its side and we're going to work side to side to create one of the back piece panels. So we'll just chain one and place a marker. And then we'll just single crochet all the way across. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. And you're going to make 51 single crochets all the way across. It's not an exact science, you're just kind of feeling for the bumps and where you can fit one in. So you'll see there's a space here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, until you have single crocheted all the way across your row. So once you get to the end of the row, you'll chain one again and continue single crocheting all the way across your row and you'll just work this way back and forth until your piece measures about 13 inches. And you'll make two of these back pieces and then I'll show you how to seam everything together. So now we have two of our back panels and we have our front panel made. So now it's time to seam everything together. You're going to seam it with the wrong sides facing each other and the right side's facing up. So you'll place your back panels, wrong side facing wrong side, and they should overlap. So this will create the space where you'll be able to slip your pillow insert into. And you can pin it or clip it around the edges. So now we have our pieces pinned together and 
We're just gonna join them using a single crochet all the way around the outside, which is a really fast and easy way to join your pieces. So you will make a slip knot and pass your hook through. Then create a slip stitch on one of the corners. Insert your hook into a space. And then again, through the back piece, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again to connect your pieces. And we'll weave in this last little tail at the end. So then all you do is insert your hook into this top, this top stitch, and then find the corresponding stitch on the back piece. Yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And just continue this way all the way around your pillow. It just makes a really nice seamless edge here. So now when we get back to that first corner where we started, we're just going to tuck that tail to the inside and then keep seaming. And that will just keep your tail tucked on the inside and secure. And now we are back to where we started. Just cut your yarn, pull your yarn through, and then you can just grab that tail with your hook and pull it to the inside. And now we have your chunky waffle crochet pillow and it's ready to put your pillow insert into. I have a 24 inch pillow insert, so you can just slide it in. And this Bernat yarn is machine washable and dryable, which is great. And there you have it, your chunky waffle crochet pillow. It's so soft and cozy. I hope you give this project a try. And check out Good Housekeeping's YouTube channel to see our other projects and videos.